Good day, my lords and my ladies. Today we are going into Pathfinder Kingmaker, the definitive edition. And it's out now on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. There's going to be a link down below where you can check it out for yourself. And thank you to Pathfinder Kingmaker for sponsoring this video. But we're going to jump right into the game, guys. I'll talk about it as I play. Let's go and get started. We're going to go into the main story. It says, Explore the Stolen Lands, a wild territory that has been contested for centuries. Hundreds of kingdoms have risen and fallen in these lands, and now it is time for you to make your own mark by building your own kingdom. To succeed in this, you'll need to survive the harsh wilderness and the menace of rival nations, as well as perils from within your own court. All right, let's do it. All right, we have made our very first character. He's a level one neutral good wizard, and we have selected all of our spells, the schools that we went to, our stats, there are a lot of customization options, by the way, guys. You can really make a character that, like, you want to play. Let's go ahead and get right into the game. Here we go. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Okay. Where are they? This is taking forever! Didn't even say what this was for, just that the Eldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Eldori anyway, rich folk? That's what I want to know. Who are they? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever whore you crawled out of. The Eldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Well, damn. Also... That's a funky little wizard. Is he a gnome? The heck? Look at those eyebrows, man. All right, you purple toad. Just <laughs> shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush. Quiet. They're coming. Uh-oh. We're going to get to meet them. Finally. Good day. Good day. Nice to meet you guys. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. Thanks for having us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. Mm. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Hmm. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Well, I think we're going to be acquiring some lands here shortly. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. <gasps> uh -oh. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Yeah, there, there's actually a team of us. Who gets the title? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. I don't think so. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Listen, all right, you have not seen the kind of spells that I've brought into this, this game here, okay? <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. 
All right, you know what? I understand what we're doing, so let's go ahead Excellent. and jump in. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. Oh, we will. All right. So we have gotten our first objective. Hi, my oh. name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Um, well, first, I just want to say it's nice to meet you. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Okay. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. A book? Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. Okay. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? So she's going to be documenting our adventures. And then I thought, I could hmm. be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Okay, um, I'm gonna say not a bad plan. It's settled then. I'll accomplish the feats, and you'll write them down. Deal. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. All right, see you later, Lindsay. The first step on the road to glory. Okay, so, uh, we have to leave the hall, or we could go talk to people. This is actually pretty, in like, interesting because this game has a lot of depth to it. Oh, okay, we could we could move the camera. Nice. Step, step, step. So is this where we? Wait, wait. Oh yeah. Okay. So we actually exit right here. Oh. Help! Help! What? What's going on? The mansion's under attack. We need to help. You're kidding. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers, or we'll all be cut down one by one. Oh, God. Okay. Time to bust out some wizard wizardry. I can't even talk. Oh. <gasps> what? You're not going anywhere. Okay, so combat. Uh, I think we're going to play real time primarily, but there is also a turn-based mode. Okay, so let's see. To pause or unpause, you hit square. To attack, you hit X. All right, cursors, and uh, oh, you can toggle between real time and turn based at like at will. So it is based off of the uh, role playing game system that they developed. So it's twenty sided dice, which is pretty interesting. So this is very much like almost like a D and D type of game. Uh, there's an attack roll, which is your attempt to strike. Uh, there's also damage, and then there's uh, your armor class that has an impact as well. Okay. okay my name onto your flesh so we could go and use one of our spells right now I'm gonna hit him with the burning hands we're gonna unpause uh oh yeah. cast a spell oh no oh wait we did get him okay the assassin has been taken out and we've gotten some gear 
So I'm gonna go ahead and collect so all. Many thoughts, so little time. How's my health doing? I did take a little bit of damage there. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? So that spell took a while to actually queue up. Oh god, what happened to this guy? We're gonna take their stuff. Calls me. I'll take the bait. We can actually search bookshelves right now. I'm gonna shall just take move? everything. We shall move. Why not loot the castle while you're defending it? <laughs> they got somebody. Uh-oh. Let's shred them! Alright, new spell. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, we have a crossbow. Look at that. You're just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed. Ready to lead you to victory. Oh, you don't say, Artuccio. Lady Jamandi is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen lands. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. <gasps> it's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Okay, we got a present from Artuccio. Alright, uh, so we need to open our inventory. So let's see. The ring grants us wear a plus one bonus to armor class. Nice. Oh, we got another party member now. Alright, so that's blocked. Alright, so there are several companions in your party now. Just select a single character, hold F2, and choose one that you need with the... Okay, I see. The road calls me. Oh, I'll we could jump mate. between characters. My that's patient. cool. So She's we can play like the... the uh, Die. The the it wizard guy distance. that we've got with us as well. Okay, it is it's paused. So let's see here. What does he have? Okay, so he's got some spells to him here. He's got his own burning hands. He's got five charges. He's got some magic missiles, acid splash, and a ray of frost. Oh, we could actually do the ray of frost all the way across. Okay, we're gonna do that, and then we could jump back to my character. Let's see. Uh, hit hit, uh, hit this guy with an acid splash. And, th and then we go to, to Lindsay, our bard, and let's see what she has. So Lindsay has an ear-piercing scream. She's got daze, cure light wound, so she could actually heal us and inspire courage. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to daze this guy up front because he's the one that could actually hurt us right now. Unpause, let's do this. Oh my god, that ray of frost happened quick. All right, hit, hit this guy with the magic missile. Let's go. Oh wait, the day's worked? Nice! Okay. Let's do another magic missile. This time we're gonna do it on this guy, the assassin bowman. So I've got... Oh. We're, we're missing some attacks. He's almost dead. Okay, alright, alright. Let's see, who else we got? Lindsay, what are you up to? Lindsay, I want you to, I want you to hit this guy with a scream. Scream right in his face. Nice, the burning hands hit. She hit him with the scream. Nice! We got everybody. Alright, so it says each character has a certain number of hit points. When they hit zero, they lose consciousness. Alright, after combat's over, the character will get up. We've controlled again. Okay, so as long as they only go into unconsciousness. But, if uh, it says they can survive some negative hit points, but if their amount becomes equal, to their constitution score, they die. But there is a resurrect spell, so that's good. All right, how many more bandits are there? God dang, dude, they took out like everybody in this castle. I don't tolerate fools. This works for me. Oh boy. This is gonna be our biggest fight yet. It's the end for you rats! Damn, he's got a big sword. Can you make an epic pose? I okay, need inspiration. Um, I hit him with the nasty splash. Dude, holy cow, the guy with the sword is kicking butt. I don't even know if he's gonna need our help. There's only one left. There we go. Oh, it's 
you. Stay oh. from under my feet or I'll strike you down. It's a, it's a Miri. Okay. Blood for Gorum! Oh my god. Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What? Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. <laughs> All right, I am warming up to this little gnome guy, by the way. We shall move. Right, where did he go? Oh God! Here they are, the assassins. That is a big group. This is your last chance. Drop your weapons, and we'll spare your lives. So generous. I'm afraid I can't offer you the same courtesy. Hey, you ugly mug! Get them! Oh my God! What is that? <gasps> Are you kidding me? He's not only a giant brute, but he's also a wizard. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. Oh no, guys! What happened? Right. Passage is blocked. All right, we can't get through there. Maybe through here. Okay, that that's also blocked off. Forwards! No, 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 backwards. Uh, backwards! Oh! And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me! All right, all right. So I think we just broke it, but there's unfortunately more assassins here. We're gonna hit um, the the bowman. I think the bowman is the the play. All right, dude. Yeah, let's wipe out that bowman. Everybody's got out crossbows right now. Come on, guys. And they are auto attacking. Oh my god! He did. He did the burning hands on my my character. I know what to do. All right, loot, loot everything. me. Okay, we need to heal up my character. Time. Oh, can we also summon our dog? We did! We summoned our pup! <laughs> this works for me. That's awesome. Alright. So Break the door to get some weapons. Okay. Applause, please. Is this the armory? Oh man, heavy banded mail. Maybe we can sell that later. So many press play. We got we so got the watchkeeper's key. Let's shake a leg. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard salaries. All things considered, well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Yeah. So about that, I've been kind of taking everything from the castle. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. Uh, okay, you know what? I have a feeling this will come back to bite us later. So I'm gonna just say no distractions. Finally, a voice of reason. <laughs> Do what you want. I don't care. It was just a suggestion, but there's a lot of money in that chest, and with all these bandits running around, it wouldn't be any better if they stole it. We won't let them steal it, because we are taking them all down. All right, time to go. Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathol. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. <laughs> Alright. It looks like she, uh... She, I'm trying to figure out what she is. Like, it, I can't tell if that's a staff or a bow on her back. Oh, it looks like a bow. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? Hmm. I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. 
These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or... Yeah, what? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. We know that they're up to something with that big guy. Who's that? What are you dealing for? I'm telling you, Jumanji's cash has to be here somewhere. Well, hurry it up before... Stop! Somebody's coming! I see oh, really? Blood. Okay, uh... We're just gonna keep doing the acid spray, to be honest. And we'll let, we'll let the others do an auto attack. Whoa, that's not a bow. She's got like a scythe or something. Oh my god, that hits hard. Wow, dude. She is strong. Oh, there's, there's a secret room up here. We were able to open the door. Alright, we're gonna go in here first. We got a silver disc, some coins. Or shoe coins. We shall move. So many thoughts, so little time. Oh, have we found our first puzzle? I think we may have, guys. So there's statues that you could change their stance by clicking on them. Interesting. We have to I figure out the right order us. of the statues. I think we need to have all the statues with their sword up. Forwards? Oh, we did it! Backwards. Oh my god! You we got the secret- Whoa, that's a trap. Oh, let the attack commence. Wait, 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 is this an enemy? Uh oh, what is- that's an ooze? Oh god, oh god, oh god, don't kill don't kill my main character. Oh thank god. That was a fake chair. I was not expecting to see a fake chair. Carved figurine, a decorated scabbard, a, sh a shining scale, some coins. Crave for adventure. More goodies here, an old map. Wood mug. Alright, so this is all stuff that we can sell. The road calls me. And then we got oh man, bait. even more gems. Oh, oh, there's another door here. Oh, we made it to the courtyard. Okay, lots of more, lots more enemies. I don't think I'm gonna need spells for this one. We're gonna let the combat roll out just with auto combat. Ooh, 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 okay, maybe that was a bad idea. My main character just got smoked. Although I will say, God, dude. Oh wait, one of them just cast a fire blast, I think, and now they're pissed off. Everything is so oh, wait, never mind. A fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fool assassins without anyone watching the show. It's not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't think we've met. I am Kayesi, one of the many here who seek a better fate, answering the call of Lady Jamandi. But unlike the others, I never dropped my guard, day or night. It's why I'm still alive. Well, let me tell you, there are assassins on the prowl, and we have to go. I don't know where you're heading, but I'll be at the entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there, if you wish. All right, Casey. Let's go. Help the wounded dwarf. Where's the wounded dwarf? Oh, you better believe move? I'm taking all those we goodies. Lotus. I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we've got different options here. We could pour a healing potion in his mouth. But there's also dis there's the diplomacy and intimidate. Uh, let's see, aren't you being a bit premature? Look at yourself, you've barely got a scratch. Yeah, let's do that, let's try diplomacy. That's impossible! <coughs> oh, it, uh, <laughs> it seems you might be right. 
<laughs> so we succeeded. They have to they have to do like a roll check to try to succeed, and we did it. So he's actually not hurt. Uh, it uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. Sounds good, Harem. So we're meeting all the characters. At least in, in the main campaign that, that we can encounter this early. What the? Run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. We've taken care of a bunch of them. Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Do you need help putting out the fire? No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here. Those who still live. Your place is by Lady Algori's side. Alright, we are on our way. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. But where's the we'll hall? run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. Alright, I'm going. Fire doesn't frighten me. Thanks to hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up! May oh. Abadar keep you safe. Thank you, sir. Through the fire we go! Uh, uh-oh. Some game events play out as an illustrated book episodes. That's cool! The decisions you make during these episodes can have a drastic impact on the development of the game's plot. As with dialogues, you will often need to make very skilled checks. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so this is like a choose-your-own-adventure book all of a sudden. So it says, and so our adventure started, earlier and much more tragic than we'd expected. The whole team who'd gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to but a handful of brave souls, led by Omrecker, and not at all by that scoundrel Tartuccio, no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Darmandi Aldori was waiting for us, but to get to her, we've had to, or we had to march through the fire, literally. As we approach the burning building, we, all right, so we could drench ourselves with buckets of water, try to find a less dangerous passage, or cover our noses and mouths before we rush inside. Um, I'm going to drench ourselves in buckets of water. Prudence is the key to victory. Before moving through the fire, we thoroughly wet our clothes and hair. After that, we... Um... Oh god, uh... Let's cover our noses and mouths, because they did say that we had to go through it. It's a good thing that we hadn't wasted any time! After entering the building and taking a few steps forward, the wall behind us slanted and crashed down with a terrible cracking sound, or crackling, blocking the way back. While we may not have planned on going back, if we'd come a little later, the flaming logs and red-hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we were left with only one way to go. Alright, the hot air burned our lungs, our eyes watered from the smoke, but Omrecker led us stubbornly through, or stubbornly through the flames, while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. <laughs> we are always putting down Tartuccio. We'd made it into the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie! One of the guards I chatted with a bit in Banquet Hall. Even then, in that calm setting, I'd been stunned by her, her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flames, she looked like a celestial avenger, an armored deity, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from the higher spheres to help us poor mortals. She held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed by us. They're wounded! Help me pull them out! Alright, so we could use athletics uh, to save the guards, or we could use diplomacy to shout that she should leave them and join us. Oh god, um... I mean, we don't have good stats really for either of these. And I don't think we want to leave them. Let's try for the rescue. We're gonna go for athletics. Oh, we failed. Saving the poor fellows was a lot harder than it seemed. We inhaled a lot of smoke and burned ourselves w w Wait, more than once before managing to pull them away from the fire. Only then did Valerie pause to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her face. Thank you, that was truly noble of you. And now let us rush to Lady Aldori's aid. Ensuring the guards were rescued, or we'd rescued, were relatively safe. We made our way to the hall, where the battle was already in full swing. Oh boy. There he is. The big boy. Enforcements are already on the way. Save your prayer, scum. Okay, so first step to the road to glory. We need to help her fight the assassins and then help Help the lady. Shred them. Oh my god, there's so many people. 
let things play out for a second. Also, Artuccio. Wait, Artuccio spells? He doesn't have most of his spells ready. I see this guy's got positive energy, heal living. He's got some cool stuff. Touch of chaos. Valerie, all right, she's very much a knight. Let's see what happens with the AI. I wish I had done, like, rested or something so I'd get my spells back. Oh, they're doing good work, though. Come on, guys, come on. Nice, another one's down. Hit him with a ray of frost. Come on, guys, we lost our elf lady. Come on, guys. There we go, there we go. Got another one in the corner. Okay, the protective ward is down. Oh my god, they... They took out everything. And that was a frost giant. He had a great axe and a chain Let shirt. Me. Oh my goodness. I will indulge you. So many thoughts. So little. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. All right. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Are you kidding me, Artuccio? He's supposed to be our friend. He set us up. So we could do we could try diplomacy and say that he's trying to set us up and he's the one who gave us a ring. Or we have knowledge and it says world check past. It says I have no connections to Pitax, but Tartuccio's name acts in a close him like he came straight from there. Which of us looks more like they might be Aerovetti's spy? We're gonna do that, or we can even attack him, but no, we're gonna go ahead and do the, the world check. Probably, yes. But this evidence is circumstantial at best. Oh, damn it, come on. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. Come on, Eldori. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. Oh no. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air. After you promised you'd wait. That, that's true. My words might be rash. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. Thank you, Amir. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook on the other hand. <laughs> he's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy. Thank you, Amiri. Lady Eldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Okay, you know what, dude? It, in my defense, we we're in the middle of battle and dire need of weapons, or we could say there was no time to run. Okay, yeah, there was no time to run and ask permission. We're gonna do the lawful neutral aspect. Considering the circumstances, yes. that was more than reasonable. Thank you, Aldori. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. 
Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but your words display a lack of wisdom. Wow. What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? What trick? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Oh my god, I, I should have attacked this man. Alright, so we got neutral good, people were dying right in front of me, how could I just walk by? Or, I wouldn't have saved them without good reason, dead soldiers are useless. I'm gonna do again the the neutral good option because that that is the alignment of my character. Really, Capriccio? Yes. You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. Thank you, Lindsay. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Hey, now. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen land. Are you are you serious, Aldori? You're gonna let him go out with his own group? Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go. And may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? Hmm. If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. I appreciate that, Valerie. You are welcome to join us. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Really, Harem? Okay, I'll remember that. Leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those what? Like Tartuccio. Wow, so the, the choices you make have an actual impact in the game. I'm sure this could go differently, but yeah, we're gonna lose Aethel as well. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. Lindsay, I appreciate you being loyal. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least, not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. Okay, so Casey is undecided. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. <laughs> Thank As you. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your right spy guts from the trees. Jeez, Amiri is so hardcore, dude. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The garrison commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. All right, sounds good to me, Eldori. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. We'll see about that. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. So we're on a clock. And now, farewell. 
This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restolf. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Yes, we will. Those lands will be ours. All right, well, guys, again, this is Pathfinder Kingmaker, the definitive edition. It's out now on PS4 and Xbox One, as mentioned at the start of the video. Link down below. Check it out for yourself. Very cool game. And if you guys want, I, I may be jumping back in for a second episode so we can we can continue this adventure and see if we can, uh, you know, take over the lands of the south. But so far, this game is super cool. Again, way, way, way more depth than I was even expecting. I'm really impressed. And of course, I want to see where the story goes, too. But guys, if you enjoy the show, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of Pathfinder Kingmaker Definitive Edition. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time.